Hello Marvel Strike Force fans, your friend the Passing Comic Guy here, and today is going to be a slightly different day than my normal. So originally I was just going to do, just by itself, open up all my orbs for the Tiny Stature Big Problem event, uh, which accumulated quite a few uh, orbs. Uh, but I want to start the video off because I just got some CGC comments in the mail. And I'm really, really excited for it. I haven't actually opened them yet to actually see what the grades are, but I thought I'd open them up with you guys, you know, just like, uh, so, uh, another popular thing out there, CGC Boxing Open. So it's three comics. I got, I sent in a What If Venom Symbiote, like, took over Deadpool, which I don't know why, but for some reason it is super expensive. It's like $500 or $600 or something like that. And I even have it signed by one of the uh, inkers, Scott Hanna. And even though it wasn't, so since it wasn't uh, witnessed, it's got a green label. Uh, I knew sending it in, it would get a green label. But you know what, I wasn't really planning on selling it. I know it was signed by Scott Hanna because I was there. I was the one that got him to sign it. So I don't have to worry about it being authentic or anything because I know from personal experience, it was done. So anyways, I had that one. Then I have the first appearance, I have Sentry number one. And then I have Venom number three, the first appearance of Null, which is a variant cover. So I don't know what the grades are yet, but let's take a look. I'm just got them right here. All I did was just take them out of the plastic. And so I think it goes right here. So this one, okay. So that's my Venom. Let's see if I can get that there. Yeah, what if Venom possessed Deadpool? And you see he did a little drawing there too, Scott Hamill. So let's see what we got here for the grade. 9.8. That's awesome. Oh, I'm really happy about that. Yeah. So, what if Venom possessed Deadpool? 9.8. I'm really happy about that. That's going to be hung up on the wall. So, let's see. What do we got here? Alrighty. Alright, so this one is Sentry number one. Okay, so this one is actually going to be, would be I'd be very surprised this is 9.8 because it's a black cover and even the back is pretty black so those white and black covers are the ones that have really hard chance of getting a 9.8 so what do we get? 9.8 oh that's going on the wall too so this is the first appearance of the century and if anyone's wondering there would be a character if they were going to make another legendary character that should be a legendary character. Sentry should be a legendary because he's basically Marvel's Superman. Except way more way more hardcore. Like he's like ripped gods in half basically. Like he's like he's really that uh that powerful basically. So yeah if there's gonna be another legendary I would say Sentry would be a good uh candidate to be a legendary. And uh, the only and the way they introduced him back in the 2000s, like when he first got introduced, was pretty ingenious too. They made him uh, forget his uh, identity basically because they made it so he was like there from the very beginning. Yeah. And like did like all the big fights with, like Fantastic Four and stuff like that. But then they're like, well, how can we do this? And they made him so he made it for God's memory. So this is Venom number three, first appearance of Null. And I got a 9.8. Awesome, three for three, 9.8s. That is really cool. I actually like this cover a lot more than the original. I have both. Although I'm a little cranky about my other one because my other one's great also and it got a 9.6. <sighs> and even though this cover I think looks way better than the original cover, uh, it's, this one's worth a little bit less even though it's a higher grade. But like my other one, I sent it in to get graded. It wasn't even red. Like I just, the guy got it from the box. He put it straight from the box into a plastic thing sleeve for me. And I gave it to the guy to get sent to be shipped for the grading and it got a 9.6. And I was like, not even fair. <laughs> Especially since it's probably like the highest likely one to be a 9.8 for the censuses for all the comics that have been graded. Venom number three, first appearance in all, another character has a good uh, chance of being a legendary. Um, not anytime soon, probably, because they just did a whole bunch of new symbiotes. But uh, yeah, if you're, one, if you're a big comic book fan, check it out, actually, because uh, right now they're doing like 
coming in December in a couple of days. Uh, they're doing like the King in Black, and that's Null, basically. And it's going to be like, it's a huge, huge uh, Marvel event, better than the last uh, Empire one that they just did. And yeah, if they're, I'm really excited for it. I'm really looking forward to it. So that is done. I just thought I'd check, show you guys my uh, CGC comics I just got. And now we will open up with uh, seeing how we did on the uh, stature event. So let's check that out. All right, guys, so here we are. These are the orbs for the stature event. I got a total of 44 saved up for the event. Uh, before we actually go into that, we do the whole seed theory thing that they like to say. And we'll see how lucky we get. So let's see here. What character do I want to... I will probably do, actually... I want my mercs team. This guy is on my mercs uh, defense team for war. So I'm going to make him a 76, spend 400k gold. My Mercs team is actually doing pretty, it looks pretty beefy. So now we will just turn off the open multiple herbs. And go to supplies, orbs. So we got 44 to open up. Let's see how we did. Oh, starting off with uh, all, all of her. So I have, so that's to give me that. Before we actually do that real quick, I want to show you guys what we can get in here. I want Domino, I want Electro. Don't need any of them. Yeah, I don't need her. Um, Squirrel Girl, sure. Don't need him anymore. I got lucky. I bought the little offer that they had for a chance of uh, either Captain Marvel, Cyclops, or Taskmaster. And I got Taskmaster, which was exactly what I needed to get him to the last star. So I was really happy about that. Uh, Swarm would be nice. Stature, of course. And X-23 would be really great to get. So let's see how. Let's keep going. 43 left open. Trash. Oh, there we go. Got another seven. That's good. Oh, eight domino. I'm really happy about that. Oh, 14. Nice. Oh, 24. Damn, look at that. I must be in a good seed. Oh, if I get her up to five star, I will be super happy because... Who knows? Any character that you can get up to five star is good to have because you might need them for a legendary. And you know, most of the time, five star is a very bare minimum that you need. Oh, got eight X twenty three. That makes it a little bit easier on the war credits. Good Domino. I'm actually saving up for X. I'm using all my war credits on X twenty three. But once that's done. I will be saving up for tier 15 gear. Oh, two swarm in a row, that's good. No one needs miles at this point. Oh, good, another, oh, we're doing great. Oh, another 14. I just hope I'm not going, a couple of times I've literally been one short from getting the last star. So basically what I did, I just buy an offer and just open it up and get one. All I needed was just the side ones. And yeah, it's it really is horrible when you get when you just one short. Oh, squirrel girl, it's alright. I'm farming squirrel girl every day. I only get maybe two of her. Bloodstone I don't need because I already farmed finished farming her. I got a blood, the first appearance of Bloodstone actually sent in the CGC for an autograph for Scott Hanna again. Uh, and that one will be witnessed because of the whole, because uh, I'm sending it into them. Oh, good, an Electro. Always good to have her. Doing all right. Oh, yeah, I like that. Gonna keep it going. We want to get five stars on her. She's at three right now. 
And honestly, I, I got, I think I got them all at, uh, what do you call it, tier 11. All my Pym Tech people at least. And they're like one of my weakest war offense teams. Like they just are over 200k. I'm just like, yes, this is a horror. I have no one I use them on, basically. I've tried using them a couple of times and they've just been, they've gotten wiped out horribly in war offense. Doing good. Taskmaster, all right, well I got Taskmaster just max. Like I said, yesterday he got maxed out, so I'm, okay. I'm hoping that uh, in our war they make it to us and they see my beefy Taskmaster and try to take him out. Because they say the mercenary team is actually more uh, harder to defeat than the uh, Asgardian team, which were the best ones at one point, for sure. But now it's a uh, Black War, which I put on my defense too. All right, let's see what we got here. 261, that's great. 26 Domino, that's awesome. 16 X23, could have been a little bit better. A lot of Swarm, cool. Uh, 10 of her, so she's got a long way to go. And my Electro, oh, she's not very beefy at all. I guess I kind of skipped her a little bit. Even though she's on my ward defense team. But I got her at tier 14, though. The only reason I got her at tier 14 was because uh, I wanted to get the uh, challenge done and they recommended her for it. So, let's see. Was I able to get her to 5 star stature? And we got one. I think we did. Yeah, we did it. 5 star stature. Went up to 41,000. Nice. Not too bad at all. So yeah, if she ever needs to go into uh, maybe Dark Dimension, if I ever decide to like, get her a little bit higher. Oh, she's not even tier uh, 11. She's only tier 10. I wonder. But yeah, five stars is a good start. She's got the four red, so I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, guys, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey guys, it's Ryan and Amy here. If you thought that video was fun, please hit the subscribe button on the left. Check out one of my other videos on the right. Hit a like below. Leave a comment. I'm always appreciative of them. I'll try to get back to you on them. Anyways, have yourself a good day, a good night, and a good morning. Peace.